Here is a post-ortho case, a 15-year-old female that was very unhappy about the way her teeth looked after she was debanded. Root canal treatment with large metal posts on number 8 and 9 made lava restorations a better choice over empress veneers due to the deep discoloration. Excessive interproximal tissue buildup is an issue here, as is poor golden proportion tissue height and gingival contours. We tackled all three soft tissue concerns utilizing 1.4 watts set on CW mode with an initiated tip. 7 through 10 were anesthetized with one carpule of septicane and also the interproximal papilla was infiltrated. The laser tip is brought in contact with the tissue with a deliberate smooth brush stroke utilizing a light pen grasp. The tip is never left in prolonged contact with the tissue so as to cause unnecessary heat buildup. And as you can see here, 1.4 watts is more than ample to perform this procedure. And this procedure results in very little trauma to the patient. Also note that there is no bleeding associated with the gingivoplasty procedure. As we come to the completion of our gingivoplasty and crown lengthening, we will want to verify our results. We do so by adding a quick veneer layer of composite to double check the proper golden proportion or tooth height to width ratio. This valuable step gives us a thumbnail view of what we can expect in our final results and it only takes one or two minutes to add the composite. Nothing fancy here. Next we prep for full coverage restorations and clean up the gingival tissues ready for impressions. In this case the size of the centrals and laterals were disproportionate but that will be corrected with the restorations. Provisional restorations were fabricated with Lux Attempt and left in place for two weeks. Oral hygiene instructions included the daily use of floss threaders to keep the interproximal areas debrided for better healing. Here is 48 hours post-op and our young patient reported no discomfort whatsoever with the entire procedure. After two weeks, the provisionals were removed, revealing excellent healing. And this is immediately after cementing the restorations. With the use of the laser, note that there is no shrinkage away from the gingival margins. Pre-op, and here's the post-op.